I'm sure many of you could testify from your own experience that the skills in public authorities vary greatly when it comes uh, very greatly when it comes to the aspect of procurement. And many authorities have found themselves unintentionally locked into a proprietary technology for decades. And after a certain point, that original choice becomes so ingrained that alternatives risk being systematically ignored no matter what the potential benefits could be. By the way, that is a waste of public money that most public bodies can no longer afford. They shouldn't afford at all, but nowadays they can't longer afford. And it's even worse when such decisions result in a waste of private money. And that happens where the public authorities' decisions force citizens to buy specific products rather than any product compliant with an applicable standard in order to make use of a public service. Come on, that could be your kid's school. It's close to all of us. Insisting on the use of a specific word processor or it could be your tax department's online forms requiring a specific web browser. And if you have other examples, concrete please, you can share it. Don't hesitate to send them um, that I can use as a argument, as you can imagine. I want to make sure that guidance will be as practical as possible. My other colleague, and here I'm showing that it is really making a lot of uh, collegial effort, uh, Vice President uh, Zhevkovic uh, and uh, I myself, we want to put in place a new European interoperability framework, as clear as that. And to be sure, the exi uh, existing version of the European interoperability framework is not bad. It even sets out a list of characteristics of open standards within the context of cross-border e-government services. However, our work with member states through the ISA program and its predecessors has made clear that there is an opportunity to further enhance interoperability between the public administrations. And that second version of the EIF is foreseen to be adopted at the level of the College of Commissioners and will therefore rightly be received as a higher status and importance than the EIF version 1. Both 